was hot. So when this Frank guy was on my neck saying we should go on a date, we should go on a date, I thought, mm, maybe I should just wear that green dress just to give you something, something. <laughs> to show him that I get it, okay? guys you're welcome back to my channel if you see me for the first time my name is Vera BHA I'm a Nigerian but I live here in Dallas Texas okay so on this channel I do chit chat I do vlogs I do lifestyle and all that good stuff okay so today guys I want us to just I'm beginning to like these spots in my house it's very good for videos I loved my last video so I said why not um and i told you all i'm drinking water this year right so get your water or i mean if you if you're not counting calorie you can do red wine or champagne or anything that that floats your boat okay guys today i'm sharing with you guys my worst dating experience okay <laughs> I don't even know how to start. But guys, when this happened, I was so embarrassed. I was so embarrassed, guys. It wasn't even the person that I went on a date with, right? That made me felt embarrassed at, at that time. It was what happened. So let me set the stage. I was in Nigeria and the year was what? I was in college anyway. I can't remember the particular year, but I was in college. So my neighbor in college, who happens to be my friend as well, she came to my room and said, hey, and guys, guess what? I was not living in the school campus, okay? So I, rest, I rented an apartment outside of school in an estate, okay? My neighbor came to me and said um, her cousin was coming over and that uh, she wanted to, I think, arrange her room or something. So I went to I went into her room, her apartment, and I was helping her fix up the place. So when the guy came, she said, "Oh, the guy just came back from Malaysia." So you know, I said hello to him. I was just minding my business, and you know, my girlfriend, <laughs> guys, my girlfriend was all over her cousin. You know, college students now. She was trying to get money from him and stuff. This guy left. And uh, we saw him off, yeah, to his car, then he drove off, then I went back to my room. But anyways, this guy now told my girlfriend that he liked me, right? He told his cousin that he liked me. <laughs> my cousin said he likes you, trust my cousin is a fun guy, my cousin is this, my cousin is that. She was just talking, 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 talking. Let's name this guy. His name begins with letter F. Let's just name him... What do we name? Let's name him Franklin. Let's name him Frank or Franklin. Franklin. So anyway, she was just, she went on and on telling me about this, her cousin, her dick, his this, his that, his this, his this, his this. And meanwhile, I was single as at that time, okay? Meanwhile, there was this other guy who had been trying to he got my number through someone. He saw my picture on somebody's phone and he got my number through that person who was my classmate. We're not really close like that. But yeah, and these people around me, if I'm dating somebody, my people know, okay? Because they just know. But if I'm single, people know as well. Like, if you're close to me, you would know. So this is my classmates. You know those kind of classmates that are like friends, but when we, whenever we see in class, we sit down, we have chit chat and all that good stuff guys so this guy i've been trying to take me out on a date you know whenever he tells me let's go on a date i'll be like mm, 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 mm. i keep giving him all that excuses you all know how it is right because i haven't met him before so i didn't know what he looked like you know so anyway so now these are two guys right um i almost mentioned his name so frank on the side let's name the other one ben okay so ben was the one who got my number from my classmate and Frank was my neighbor's cousin, <laughs> guys. So, um, Frank, it's so hard for me not to mention his real name, but anyway, I'm doing well so far, right? So Frank um, reached out to me and he, you know, he was just telling me uh, he likes me when he saw me in my cousin's room. 
he likes me that he just likes me immediately he saw me blah 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 let's go on a date so guys there was this green dress <laughs> that green dress was the bomb okay hmm. guys that dress was short i can't remember how much i bought it but that time it was serious money okay you know college students just trying to survive was able to squeeze out money from her pocket money to get a dress i knew that dress was hot aside looking in the mirror and seeing the dress was hot on me right i knew the dress was hot when i the, the very first day i wore that dress to my friend's birthday party i was trying to get um cab okay let me know like, i wasn't trying to get cab i was trying to get bike because in Africa, we do bikes, okay? I mean, I can't do it anymore if I go to Africa because I'll be so scared. But then, that was the easiest way for you to move around, okay? I didn't have a car. Yeah, so, I was I was standing in front of my estate gate and I was trying to get a bike that would take me to my friend's party, okay? So, I was sitting on that green dress. Then somebody called my phone. When I picked, it was this lecturer that was asking me out. Guys, you know what he said? He said, I didn't know that was his number. I didn't know that was his second number, okay? So he said, you see that green dress you're wearing? <laughs> that was he said, you see that green dress you're wearing? That's the kind of dress that will get you in trouble. But I love it. And that's good trouble. I love that green dress you're wearing. <laughs> May he so rest in peace. This um, lecturer is late now. That's life for you. May he so rest in peace. But yeah, but um, I remember... <laughs> that was what he said and when i got to my friend's birthday party everybody was like oh Vera, this dress is hot this dress is hot and if you know me by now even now that i'm married i love short dresses okay i love short dresses if you haven't seen my last vlog please screw down and watch the baby shower um i think mr and mrs mohammed lamin's baby shower that i posted a couple of you know, it shot a while ago because I don't know. I don't know when I'll be uploading this video. But anyway, that was when I knew this dress was hot. So when this Frank guy was on my neck saying we should go on a date, we should go on a date, I thought, hmm, maybe I should just wear that green dress just to give you something, something <laughs> to show him that I get it. Okay. So I wore that dress again. That was the second time, right? That was the second time, but that was like months apart. So yeah, I wore that dress again and I went on a date with Frank. And the date was good, but instantly, not instantly, the date was good, but I knew, mm, this guy, I knew we could not really date like that. I knew we could not have a relationship, right? But it was nice hanging out with him. I mean, he just returned from Malaysia at that time. He had so much money to spend. Your girl was a broke college student. <laughs> so, you know, I it, the date was fine. It was just okay. But then I went home and it was good. Then, guys, guess what? That was how the next day. Mmm. My girlfriend came to me and said, another girl in my in my estate, right? She came and said she had a date and she didn't want to go alone. I was like, I said, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to go. Like, you know, it's your date. You should go by yourself. Then she said, no, that she's going to be bored. She already told the guy that if she must go on a date with him, she has to come with her girlfriend. And that the guy said, yes, the guy was okay with it. Guys, I told this girl no. I kept emphasizing no. I said, together plan your outfits. This girl was on my neck, guys. That was how I managed. That was how I managed, guys. I managed to get up from my bed, though, to go with this girl. The mistake that I made. Cause it was not my date, you you get. So I didn't, you know, the dress was not really dirty. The, the the green dress was not dirty. The green dress that I wore to the previous to the previous date with Frank, the Frank guy, right? It wasn't dirty, so I just you know picked it up and wore it again. And we went on a date. Yeah, I mean, I escorted my friend to her date. When we got there, guys, you would you believe that it was this other guy, this Ben guy, that was trying to um, take me out on a date. He was the one 
who came because he you know we talk we talk often so he knew i was living in that estate so somehow he came around i know he must have given this girl some money or some gift or whatever that made her convince me for us to go on that date so it was me my neighbor or me my friend and this band guy right on the date <laughs> when i got there he was like oh his name is ben you guys you, you all know this name was something we just gave to him right that's not his real name but anyway for the sake of this video we named him ben so he was like oh his name is ben does his voice sound familiar and all what i said yes your voice sounds familiar but don't tell me that you are the same ben i've been speaking with <laughs> guys it happens to be the same ben but anyway i wasn't that upset but i wish I knew that was my date. Maybe I would have prepared better. <laughs> but I mean, I was I was looking good, but you know, I was just there with my friend and the guy who were chit chatting. Guys, the embarrassing part was guess who walked into the place. Guess who walked into this restaurant? It was Frank. Frank and his friends. And Frank does not move alone. Like Frank, we used to call those kind of people Malaysian burger. If you live in America, we say American burger. If you live in UK, we say UK burger. Frank was an um, Frank was a Malaysian burger. He used to roll with his squad, guys. Frank came into this restaurant with his friends. Guess what? I was putting on the same green dress. Hey. I know some of you will be like, oh, what's the big deal? Guys, I just went on a date with Frank the previous day and I was wearing that green dress. And Frank is saying me again, I'm wearing the same green dress. I almost cried, guys. And he saw me first. I was so embarrassed. The way I left that date, right? I just stayed for a little bit. I Then Frank sent one of his guys to, to give me a drink, yeah. So the guy brought a bottle of drink on my table i know he did that to just i don't know to disrespect this other ben guy but whatever but i mean i was still safe not that i was scared of frank or anything but it was me my neighbor and this ben guy so i'm sure um frank did not really understand who was on that date right but i was wearing this same dress guys <laughs> guys i was so pissed i was so embarrassed but somehow you know i opened the bottle of drink my friend because that that happens to my friend's favorite drink i don't name the, the brand okay but my friend okay it was andre my friend you know drank from the bottle i stood up and i went over to his table and said thank you to him and i said hi and guys came back to my table picked up my purse and i left i don't even know how to explain how i felt now i'm more mature looking back i was okay well life happens but Guys, I was in my early 12, I was like 21 or 20 then. It was a big deal for me, guys. Like, I repeated the same dress. Oh, my God. Yeah, so that was my worst dating experience ever, okay? For me and Frank, it just didn't work out. Like, we didn't date at all, but it wasn't a dress situation that made us not date. I already told you guys that from the first day I went out with him, right? I knew, I knew we could not date, but... He knows how to buy big gifts and he had money <laughs> at that time. He knows how to buy all the fancy stuff that girls like, okay? Girls around that age like. And this other Ben guy, that one, I was not even into him at all. Like, and that his strategy of coming around, trying to get my, try to, uh, you know, got my neighbor to get me out and date with him. I felt like that was just too desperate. That was just too over calculated and whatever. But guys, yeah, this is my worst dating experience ever. I mean, I still went on two other dates with uh, the Frank guy because he was trying to convince me. You know how a guy is trying to convince you? I'm the man for you. And my girlfriend was on my neck. That's my brother. I want you to be my sister-in-law if he walks out. Yeah, but guys, that was the story. What was your worst dating experience? Can you just comment? below leave it in the comments let me let me see it. and let me know your thoughts was this a big deal do you think if you were the one you would have been the, you would have been as embarrassed as i was because guys i was embarrassed i wouldn't even lie when i got home i cried i cried and i explained everything to my um my neighbor my friend and you know when i went on a, a second date when i went on a second date with frank 
I guess that date was most importantly or more importantly to show him that it's not only this green dress that <laughs> I do not have only this green dress. I still have other nice outfits as well, okay? So that was my worst dating experience. What is yours? Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video and you like what I'm about, please kindly like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.